so it seems like we're at a bus depot. And we are at a bus depot. At Rock, this is Golgotha, right here. This is Skull Rock, where Jesus was crucified, and it's right up there. Looks like we're in a state penitentiary, and we're not. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, at least. This is the garden tomb where we're at, and we're gonna go there in just a second. This is where this is where they believe that Jesus Jesus was crucified. Yeah. It's not a guarantee, but it's right up here on this rock. It's kind of degraded a little bit. We'll show you what it looked like before in the early, what is it, 1900s? Yeah, early 1900s, yeah. Earliest photo they have of it. Joseph of Arimathea was a rich man in the New Testament who actually purchased this section of land and he went to Pilate and he said, hey, could I have the body of Jesus yep. because we want to bury him? And there was this, it was the Sabbath, so they were in a big hurry. This, this location pretty much checks all the boxes. So this is, this is the tomb. That's it. This is it. Luke 24, it says on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. But while they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. Literally, two, two angels stood right there. In their fright, the women bowed down their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. This right here is where Jesus, we believe, rose from the dead. In, inside the tomb, there's an inscription in there that actually says that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega the beginning of the end.